If you've been following hip hop in the last two to three years, then you have probably seen a decline in the popularity of hip hop as a whole when it comes to the mainstream music industry. With the trend of the TikTok artists rising every year, as more people enter into the rap space, it seems like the decline of hip hop is pretty imminent. It's your girl Diamond Dage and I am back at it again with another video reaction for you guys today. If you're new, welcome, welcome. Shine bright like a diamond. Please subscribe to become part of the Diamond Gang if you've been rocking with me. Thank you, thank you so very much. People are just aren't interested in the hip hop genre as they were a few years ago. Let's hit this click about the decline of hip hop and what some popular artists have to say on why that is. I just wanna say, I just wanted to make it be known that I predicted this. That was my point. I predicted that. Remember the gatekeeper combos? She's so animated. Well, if you want everybody into the fucking game, <laughs> Guess what? Yeah. One day you wake up and there's nothing but a pile of shit. Mm. It has been declining. Like, I'm not, I haven't, you know, I'm a whole hip hop, you know. Right. Y'all, y'all, everybody's eating, right? Yeah. So one day we can say pile of shit. <laughs> there's no balance. That's why. There's no balance. There's no gatekeeping. There's no... It's just, hey, everybody, let's go! Come on! Whack, 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 let's go! Yay! <laughs> You're great! No. They're whack. They're whack. That's okay. But, and by the way, they might not... People might... And please don't make it seem like I'm speaking about females, and that's what y'all always do. Yeah, I'm about to say, at least the female rappers have don't really been saving like what's left of hip hop. Because in fact, women are some of the best spitters right now. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's do that, number one, and hungry and doing it. So I'm not talking about women, I'm talking about in general, new rappers, new rappers are taking it as a game. Nicki Minaj. As a joke. You are all over your album saying that these bitches can't rap. <laughs> just sucks. No, okay, let's dispel this. Hey, now, let's, talk let's talk about it. Let's the talk about it. Let's talk about it. Ain't it reason? reason? Right now is a terrible place. What, what are you talking about? But you're looking at it glass half empty. No, no. I mean, hip hop is hip hop. But you ask me, where is hip hop right now? The state of hip hop right now is a lot of imitation. It's a lot of a lot of quick, low quality music being put out. It's a lot of. It's a lot less risk taking. It's a lot less originality. But who fought is that? What? So safe. You know, when, when people say that he down. was on the start of the decline of hip hop, always like he but came out that, during the. I think the there are people doing that. I think you're doing that. I think you're doing that. Yeah, so yeah, are. I mean, yeah but hip hop it, uh, as a whole is like you, you just name two people. Like it's like no, it's hundreds, it's hundreds I mean, of people in the park. Should we go off the list? Should, should we, should we ask yeah. you out of here? No, 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 no. You I actually you think that there are yeah, really good hip hop artists that are just independent. The reason why talks about hip hop being at a standstill is because it's an infantilized genre. Mm -hmm. You have 40 year olds who have the same content as 16 year olds and 6 year olds. Yeah. So it's an infantilized genre. And then a little boy, There's little RT rapping about getting cold, his, his dick boring, sucked is crazy. Quote, so to speak. If you look at, if you travel with his albums, you are witnessing him in real time speaking about what he's reflecting on at the moment, what he's going through at the moment. Right. He talks about being a father. He talks about being a husband. He talks about his struggles with fame, without fame. He talks about his place in the industry, okay? Two Chains and Lil Wayne just put out an album talking about the same shit that they've been <laughs> talking about right. for 20 years. Right. Rick Ross and Meek Mill just put out an album talking about the same shit they've been talking about for the last 10, 15 mm -hmm. years. And it's an infantilized genre. Right. Also, Meek Mill, we don't want to hear about you guns and killing niggas when we just seen you bunny hopping for white people. Okay? <laughs> Time will always win. There is no logical or rational reason to chase after youth because youth is gone. The yeah. thing about youth is this. Just stay you authentic are, to where you at at the place world, you at. In the eyes of the world, as good as you're going to look. Yeah. Okay? That's why anytime people come to you, you look so young. That's the compliment. 
you as good as you're going to look, but you're as dumb as you're going to be. You're an infant adult in your young 20s. But you are at the peak physically. Right. The thing is, is as you get older, you can maintain a youthful look to you, but your mind wise. Mm -hmm. If your mind is not, if your content is not reflective uh, of the, the growth mental, of your mindset, yeah. then that means you are infantilized. You're stuck mm -hmm. in a childlike mindset. Yeah. So if you're still talking about killing niggas and nice cars and fucking <laughs> bitches and, and doing drugs, yeah. Then I can go to a rap album of an 18, 20, 22 year old talking about the same shit, right. and there's a six year old. And it's going to be more authentic to the 18, 22 year old. Shit. The reason why it's at a standstill is because the, the audience that fell in love with hip hop are growing, are mm -hmm. becoming socially aware, are uh, adulting, mm -hmm. and the music is still childish. Right, absolutely. So there has to be a conversation, like with the whole there, thing with there Drake. Has, yeah. Drake is still rapping about the same shit, and then when he does the time step things, what we see from Drake in those raps is a, is a ref, him reflecting on where he is in the current moment mm -hmm. and being honest about his mentality towards it, what he sees, what he's going through, which is why we love it because it is a more re mature con uh, content and reflection of yeah. where he's at as 37-year-old Drake. I don't want to hear about... How many fucking different ways can you talk about having a nice car? Having bitches, having mm -hmm. guns and doing drugs and killing it. And nobody yeah. wanna hear that shit. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. If you're gonna be an adult in hip hop, make adult music. Talk about some real shit. You're an artist, you're creative. Kendrick Lamar does it all the time. Right. J. Cole does it all the time. If you go listen to any of the underground music, <laughs> They're talking real about the reflection. Yeah, and, I, and that's why I think more independent rappers need they just do because there are so many unknown independent artists well, who have great music that reflects the time. The whole time. Yeah. And no, not one body. Not one body. <laughs> he went. To, he he caught a gun charge because he was famous, and it was going to look good for whoever caught the found the gun. It wasn't going to do no good for them. There's no notoriety for locking up Mac Main. Okay? Either grow up or find a different avenue. <laughs> Andre 2000 knows this all too well. He understands. Mm -hmm. the That's why he put out that flu album and, and with no words. Lights. And like he said, he don't want to rap about getting a colonoscopy because that's not ill to him. So, But what is ill to him is that he grew and he found a different outlet of expression mm -hmm. and he put that out with the people. Killer Mike has one of the most mature rap albums I've ever heard and honestly the rap album of the year mm -hmm. it's an infantilized genre it's keeping people at a, at a lower self mindset, well yeah keeping you at your low, lower self and we're tired of it. I feel like everybody has a play in why hip-hop has declined the fans the people who listen to it who just accept anybody coming out or because the song is trending on tiktok everybody want to use the sound or do the dance fans have just accepted music with the most uttermost randomized just crazy lyrics i believe the current artists who are in hip-hop are to blame because not gatekeeping like Nicki minaj said i mean they got mad at her when she tried to gatekeep Nicki minaj had the opportunity especially when she was like the only female rapper out and she was hopping on everybody tracks and she was killing it she had the opportunity to cultivate some young women and give them a shot and say look these are the kind of rappers that i that that i stamp that i feel like have the the rap ability but she didn't do that you know what i'm saying it took for the labels to make cardi b for that to open up a market full of women but by that time the whole cardi every stripper that that whole image became the new wave of women ultimately you just gotta blame the record labels in the music industry the music industry have always just tried to do things based off of where the money is what's the most outrate thing you know to get people's attention they have just ruined hip-hop it's just it's strictly a business of entertainment and it's not really about the talent it's not really about the quality this is all about the numbers and how many people are watching 
the quality of hip hop has definitely tanked. It's just become a game of who's popular. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the decline of hip hop and why you think that is in the comments below. And I will be back with another video reaction for you guys. Bye.